I was so happy that they did it, but I could not accept gifts from his students so as to uphold ethics and professionalism. Shinji insisted that I should accept their offer. I could not accept their offer not because of fear of being known by the school, but because it is the right thing to do. The question of God is a question of origin and of human existence. What is ethics and what is morality? What is the difference This pandemic has made our world a vulcan that is volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. It is volatile because what has been proven as established and effective before the time of COVID-19 pandemic has been challenged and must be changed. It is uncertain because We still do not know when we can go back to the physical classroom and face-to-face -face sessions of teaching and learning. It is complex because there are a lot of things we need to do in order to properly transmit education to our learners. We need to learn how to navigate online applications like CEO Lips, how to make video presentations, online games, and all the like. These complexities are burdensome, but we need to overcome all this because we have a duty, that is, to educate. It is because when before the pandemic we made a clear distinction between reality and virtual it is now difficult to find the distinction between them reality is now becoming virtual and virtual is now the real thing But amidst this VUCA world, molding students of their humanity is a real challenge. Are students still learning from us educators? Or are they up only for completion so that they can get that piece of paper we call Diploma? On September 21, 2020, the desktop computer that I used in handling online classes shut down and repair was not possible. I needed a new system unit to continue teaching my students, but I did not have enough money to buy one. I informed my students that I might not be online for the next one or a couple of synchronous classes because the system unit of my computer needed to be replaced by a new one. I did not know the impact of my being unable to buy a new computer system unit to my students until one of them, Samantha Joy Badong, informed me that she and her classmates raised funds for me to buy that new computer system unit that I needed. 
I was so happy that they did it, but I could not accept gifts from his students so as to uphold ethics and professionalism. She insisted that I should accept their offer. I could not accept their offer not because of fear of being known by the school, but because it is the right thing to do. She said she could not return the money to her classmates anymore, for they would not accept it. I let her know and felt how happy I was for their effort and instructed her to find people who needed the money more than I did. A few days passed, she informed me that they found a non-government organization to be the beneficiary of their donation without telling me its name yet. While frustrations hit me during Black Forum period of the school year 2020 to 2021, that is, during the Christmas break of season, and while I was still feeling low and down, and wondering whether or not I had helped my students shape their minds and hearts to be genuinely human beings. Samantha told me that an organization, the Street Classroom, sent her a letter of gratitude for their donation during the time of pandemic. I lifted up with joy and said to her, You and your classmates have given me the greatest Christmas gift ever. She sent a picture of the letter and I was surprised to read the name that she and her classmates gave to their group as donors to the street class. It reads, Helping Hands in the Care of Sir N. And she said that Sir N was me. There's no other way to know whether or not you as a teacher, an instructor, or a professor have rightly imparted learning to your students and have helped your students become better human beings. There is no other way than to see them and know that they do good things because they care others because of you. The moment I read the phrase, Helping Hands in the Care of Sir N, I realized that the question, Am I an educator? has been answered already without any doubt. Whenever my teaching strategies are questioned, tested, put in doubt, and with frustrations hit me once again, all I have to do is remember that once upon a time, there was a group named Helping Hands in the Care of Sir Ben, and they were once my students. And these students care and love other people, most especially the unfortunate children and adults, who like them way for education because of people who taught them the lessons of life. Let me thank you for caring others just because you cared for me. Thank you. Kiana Aguilar Beatrice Arile Samantha Joy Badong Almira Faye Belesena Pamela Andrea Calalo Brian Clint, Jax Clint Brian De Guzman, Hanani De Los Reyes, Lovely Kay Tudulao, Iara Pat Patricia Escobar, 
Mel Irene Espinola Rina Galas Ann Lauren Giroche Francesca Marie Ignacio Mary Rose Junio Jillian Leonardo Erica May Legiralde Chad Manuel Vista Maris Patag Wanda Reyes Jimema Choice Romua Jaslyn Sabrito Chad David Salvador Angela Maldo Andres Claire Yanwaria You are all in my heart forever.